Good morning. Hi guys. Okay. The sun's not even out. Yeah, it's like dark outside still. Okay. We're gonna get this day started and I'm gonna show you guys what I eat in a day. Let's go. Okay, so I always start my day off with a cup of coffee and then I made overnight oats last night. This is the oatmeal that we use for the overnight oats. It's pretty cool because it is, um, it has coconut already in it. All right, so I have to come over here and turn on the inverter, which gets the stove on. And then I dump the amount of water that I need for my coffee into the pot just so I don't waste any extra. I have a little Starbucks instant blonde coffee. Just dump the coffee in there. And while I'm waiting for the water to warm up, I'm gonna take my B12 spray. One spray of this every morning under my tongue and I'm good to go. All right, so this water is hot enough for my coffee. I just like my coffee black, so I just drink it just like that. I am working on my overnight oats, which are one cup of oats, one cup of almond milk, and some cinnamon. Sometimes I cut up some apples and put some apples in there too. Just put it in a closed container, leave it in the fridge overnight, wake up in the morning, and you can have your breakfast. Okay, so it is now like 9.20. I'm still sipping on my coffee because I kind of sip on coffee all day long, but I'm going to go for a couple of snacks. So I'm going to eat two little tangerines and probably the rest of these cashews. And then I will probably get another coffee. Okay, so I took Monty on a walk on like a little hike, probably like a few miles, three miles or so. And then I went to the gym and I took a cycle class and I was the only person in the class. It's kind of weird. It was even more weird because it's like a digital fitness class. So there's no like instructor teaching it. <laughs> Let me just show you guys the video. So I'm using this bread. It's gluten-free and it's vegan. I don't always do gluten-free, but mom says um, like allergic to gluten it makes his stomach hurt and then he like goes a bunch of poo and then we just have some regular old peanut butter and I'm gonna put some bananas on it and sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon and there's my little easy lunch and I'll probably be hungry again very soon and I'll just grab some fruit and snack on it and then have kind of a big dinner. <coughs> oh my god, I literally just did like the cinnamon challenge. Mmm. So warm. Okay, so now it's like 7 p.m. So tonight we're gonna make tacos and for taco night for us We kind of go really fast and make a bunch of tacos and like eat them as we're making them and we have 12 tortillas So we might make 12 tacos So this is an organic vegetarian chili that we get from Trader Joe's. It's actually not just vegetarian, it's vegan, but it says vegetarian on it. And then it's not really enough, just that one can for us, so I add, ew. So I add uh, another can or, of organic pinto beans. Then we add to the chili, like a corn and chili mix that you also get from Trader Joe's. So we'll put like half, like this whole thing in there. While the chili is heating up, I'm gonna use this little vegan chow slices and I'm gonna make it in little pieces and just break it up and we'll put it on our tacos. This is what you do when you don't have shredded cheese. We're gonna do an avocado because you can't make tacos without avocados. I love when they have like a little seed, you know? 
Cause sometimes they have like a big old seed and then they just take up like the whole avocado. You know, you feel like you paid for the seed. It's like a real good taco, okay? You come to me, I make you a good taco. Mmm. That's so good. <laughs> Oh my god, we make the best taco. You make the best taco. Okay. Dinner. Dinner was delicious. It was so filling. Uh, there's a lot of dishes. But we have a dessert. We only have one left because we ate three yesterday. But they're these really yummy vegan cupcakes that we get from Safeway. They're so good. And there's only one left. Is this for you or is this for me? <laughs>